five minutes. I thank you very much, Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Neuenschwander, I wanted to give you a chance to respond to Mr. Vance's point a few minutes ago. Thank you. <clears throat> Pardon me. Thank you, Senator. I think that what I hear is an incorrect inference that if Apple's process by which we used to extract data for law enforcement had not been breached, that customers had not been breached. And what we were aware of then as now is that customers are breached and their data is taken by common criminals. Okay. And so the step that we took was to actually shore up the device security for all people and stop the threats that we were seeing in the attacks against our customers. Okay, so in fact those breaches do occur. <laughs> To customers, yeah. without, without making a comment about Apple, absolutely. To customers, and, and people, including children, uh, can be harmed when those breaches occur. I agree, Senator. Well, one can be very concerned about children and about children, protecting children from things, including child sex, uh, sexual ex exploitation, uh, by being concerned about their data privacy. Is that not right? Certainly, Senator. I mean, we are very concerned about that. We find the material and the people who traffic in it abhorrent, and we want no place for them on our platform. Mr. Vance, you're a prosecutor, and, and a good one. Um, uh, you're also an iPhone user from what I could tell a minute ago when you held up your device. Uh, do you prosecute drug cartels or people affiliated with drug cartels? Uh, our office and the special narcotics prosecutor that sits next to our office uh, particularly prosecutes those cases. Yeah, including some of the big cartels like the Sinaloa drug cartel, yes. Gulf cartel, and so yes. forth. These are entities that, uh, based on my understanding, have have uh, annual revenues uh, uh, that are staggering, that any U.S. Uh, uh, company, uh, in, any large blue-chip U.S. corporation w would envy. Um, as entities with a lot of money, these enterprises could invest a lot of money in reverse engineering a back door. They could, if given the time and the resources, uh, break into a backdoor system created through an Apple device. Would you be comfortable with your phone or that of your colleagues being hacked into by the Sinaloa drug cartel? Well, of course I wouldn't, Senator, but I still haven't heard the answer, I think, to the question or fact that I raised. Yes, I understand that Apple is telling us that consumers' data was taken. It happens every day. I mean, that happens when people click on the, an attachment or go up to a, a website and malware is loaded. Of course, devices and individuals have been compromised. The question is, in the process of unlocking the device, when we sent it to Apple historically, did that process create a vulnerability while it was in Apple and before they extracted the material and sent it back to us? General counsel for Apple in 2016 said no. Mr. Neuenschwander, what's your response to that? And I would certainly agree with my former general counsel that we are aware of no breach of that process. But again, that process relied on a state of the device for which we're absolutely aware that there were breaches of customer data and harm to our customers around the world. Okay. And, and that device is, is now operating on a different platform, uh, one that doesn't permit that. What would happen if you were to take your current platform and engineer it in such a way that it could work like the previous system did? I, I think, Senator, there are two major options for that. One, and uh, Professor Tate alluded to both of them, one of them is that we could roll back to that prior state of 2014 and begin to leave customers around the world again evolved, uh, or sorry, exposed, even though the threats would have evolved and grown stronger over the five years, six years, and I think that would leave everyone worse. The second possibility is that we could do something which we never did, which is uh, try to hold in our possession a key that would read the passcode protected data on customers' devices. And as a technologist, I am extremely fearful of the security properties of such a system.